Hey guys, Dantix here. I've played so much Dragon's Dogma 2 that my eyes are almost pure red. I can't get enough of this game. It's everything I've wanted from an RPG and a sequel, and I suspect you'll enjoy it too. There are some things I wish I knew right away that would have increased my enjoyment, however, so I'm here to share these tips in an overall spoiler-free manner. This video will include tips how to save you time managing your inventory, how to get the best out of your pawns, what to look for in combat, what to do with your secondary pawns, how to avoid failing quests, and as a bonus, how to get the bikini nice and early. Let's begin. As you traverse the world of Dragon's Dogma 2, if you're anything like me, you'll find yourself quickly becoming over-encumbered with gathering materials and monster drops. I know, it's hard to drop them, what if you need them for something? A lot of items, like foods, will spoil, and many are quite heavy. But there is a way. You can combine items in your inventory. Simply flip over to the Curatives tab and press the Combine button. Then select one item. It'll show you the possible items it will combine with. Select one of the possibilities and voila, you've made an item. It usually weighs less than both combined and won't spoil. After you've made a few items, while in combined mode, you can tab over from experiment to use recipe to make exactly what you're looking for, like lamp oil when you run out or healing potions. You can command your pawns as you're near gathering materials, chests and so forth to pick them up by pressing the go action. Be sure to stop every so often to clean up your inventory. That is, of course, unless you have a logician in your party, which I'll explain in detail soon. First, how do you get the best graphics out of this game? The goal for many is an RTX 4090, which is a massive boy I had to build a custom case and brace for. But if you have more discerning taste, let me introduce the all new MSI Gaming Slim series. I'm playing on it right now and I have to say, it's impressed me. Say goodbye to bulky, saggy graphics cards. It delivers powerful GeForce RTX 40 graphics with a thinner profile that will fit in almost any case. MSI's tri 3 thermal design enhances heat dissipation, providing exceptional thermal performance and ultra-quiet acoustics. To further this, the fans switch off when the GPU isn't working hard, giving you incredible cooling when you need it, and dead silence everywhere else. Perfect for me since I want to record my videos in silence. So be sure to check out the card at the link below, and let's get right back into it. During your time with Dragon's Dogma 2, you'll be swapping in and out your pawns as you level. There really is no reason to keep them once you level up past them. You're forced to keep your main pawn and it's the only one that levels with you. So naturally you shouldn't have too much attachment to your secondary pawns, but you absolutely should keep your eye out for ones with special specializations, namely one called the Logitician. Managing your inventory is going to be a lot of people's most tedious part because I know you want to pick up everything. We already went through this, sorry for making you relive it. The Logitician does something incredible. It balances out your inventory between pawns and you and combines items for you. As you're traveling around, you'll see the specialization proc and items being moved around and being combined when you have this specialization in your party. Try to always keep one of these in. Early on, you won't see many low-level pawns with it, but do keep your eyes open for them. It will save you a lot of time. There are other specializations well, like the Churgeon, which lets the pawn with it use healing items from their inventory on the party, meaning you'll have a healer regardless of if you have a mage with you or not. You can teach your main pawn a specialization by finding tomes in the world. Battling enemies isn't as straightforward as simply whacking them with your abilities. In Dragon's Dogma 2, you're better off taking stock of your situation before charging in. Make sure you use the right moves at the right time. Sometimes pushing or throwing enemies off a cliff is the best thing you can do, as it will do extreme damage, get them out of the fight, or kill them outright. The Trickster is the best at this, but any class can pick up enemies. You can even get tricky with some skills outside of the Trickster class, like the Warrior can vault a pawn onto a large enemy so they can go for their weak points. If one of your pawns get downed, make sure to grab them and move them out of the way of enemies before resurrecting them. This ensures you can actually do it without being hit over and over again. Be sure you're always hitting an enemy's weak point. Most medium to large enemies can have parts broken off them, like a Saurian's tail or Minotaur's horns, reducing how lethal they are and giving you items. You'll notice when you're hitting a weak point, you'll hear a different tone.
make sure you're hitting that spot often and hard, as repeated strikes on weak points will stun enemies and even stop a Minotaur charging at you. The first time you encounter a Rift Stone, only a short time into the game, you'll be able to summon in your main pawn, which you could have already made via the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator and storage. But don't think you're done. You can summon in two more pawns to your party that were created by someone else in the world or by Capcom. These aren't your main pawn, so they don't level with you. You'll need to continually replace them as you level. Hiring one over your level will require you to spend special currency. Don't think you're locked into choosing the ones you see in the Rift. Click back on the Rift Stone and you can do a search. If you just want female mages, you can have just female mages. Filter by what balances your party out, and a nice balanced party is the way to go, but hey, don't let me decide how you play. You can also search pawns by ID, so check out all the pawns people on my Discord have made if you want to hire a specific one, as well as share your own for those juicy in-game gifts and hearts on your pawn. Your secondary pawns come equipped with skills and items from their owner. You can replace what they're wearing, but those items vanish, and the items you give them to equip, you aren't getting back. The owner gets gifted them, so if you're planning on replacing a pawn, make sure to clear out its inventory of essentials as you'll lose everything in their inventory and you won't be able to unequip what they have equipped. I made that mistake and it costed me some valuable items. Quests in Dragon's Dogma 2 are all relatively different. You have the Golden Path and you have side quests. There are a lot of side quests that are timed. That does, of course, mean you can fail them take too long to do the mission and you'll get a consequence, like someone dying. Here's a relatively inconsequential quest where a man asked me to help him save his brother who has gone missing. If I accept this, I'll be forced to do it right away or else the brother will die and all I'll find is his dead body and mission statement that says we were too late. That's not really a spoiler, it's a shitty mission. However, if you choose not to accept this mission, the timer doesn't start. Ergo, if you suspect a quest will be timed, don't accept it unless you're ready to go. This includes anything that requires saving people, stopping monsters and more. It'll be fairly obvious, but it will save you failing missions which you can't reload back into. You have one save and there's no going back once you fail. Hopefully that helps. Finally, as a bonus, there is a way to get the bikini, aka ranger tights, very early on in the game. First, make sure you or your pawn is the archer vocation. Second, go through the mainline missions until you're tasked with clearing out monsters in three different areas. One of the areas will be Trevlo Mine. Follow this path until you get to this chest here. Inside will be the ranger tights. There you have it. You have a sexy archer of any shape or size prancing around in frankly, extremely battle ready combat attire. Simply the best you can find. So that's everything. Hopefully these tips help you out. Let me know below. If you have any of your own, I would love to hear them. The best will get harder to the top of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have a ton more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides on the way. So be sure to follow if you aren't already, like and comment. Until next time, ciao friends.